All right, uh, welcome to my little video here. I'm going to show you how to animate an Element 3D object or model in HitFilm without a 3D point. Okay, so what I have here, listen, before I get started, to make Element really work well with HitFilm, um, run your uh, output render mode in draft okay you'll get very i'm going to clip over to preview here preview i've already got the lights kind of set up for this model but uh for animation no no lights uh draft mode uh real responsive now i'm working on a mac 2013 here with a mini one gig nvidia card in it you know nothing special really pukes down if I uh, turn on lights and lots of effects, but for animating in draft mode, Element 3D is the way to go, okay? So with that, here's my little animation, okay? Ship raises up off the ground, starts to rotate, rotates around here, and then shoots off into the horizon, okay? That's the little animation we got. So how you get that accomplished is you go to group one, and I'm just going to assume your model is on group one inside element. And you're going to animate the uh, position X and Y and position Z. So position X and Y is uh, left and right, up and down. Uh, in this case, the ship is rising up off the ground. You can see I got the ground plane here the ship is sitting pretty close to the ground plane a little off but uh, anyway i want the ship to raise up ground plane is set at 76 okay so that 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 basically uh, you know here okay 76 is zero for the ground plane so i'm 76 here all right, so however long you want it to take, it looks like I got about four seconds of raise here, okay? So on the Y position, I went from 76 to 134, you see right here. And then I shoot off, okay? And I wanted to raise in altitude as it's going away from me, okay? So right here at... Uh, 413, I'm at 134 on the Y position. As the model is moving away from me, it's going up into the sky. I set it to 3600. Okay. So that's how I get the model to raise up off the ground. Okay. Now, how I get it to move away from me is by animating the Z position. So after it's risen up off the ground, okay. I want it to shoot away. Now, this is not a custom animation. can definitely be tweaked for smoother, better looking animation. So, the Z position starts at zero. And at the end of my scene, I put the Z position to 30,500. Okay. That basically just sends the uh, model off into the distance for quite a ways. If you don't want to use the Z position for that, that far of a distance, you can also scale the, uh, you can also scale the model, I believe, somewhere. Let me see where it's in. It's going to be in particle look. Okay. And then you can uh, scale the size of the model right here as it's going away from you. Okay. So this is be how you scale the model. So cover that at a different time if you want to use scale but uh you know using the uh, particle replicator to uh, get what you want it, it you know it works it works so i know i see you uh you're probably wondering the rotation okay so the ship raises up off the ground how you uh, get rotation is you go to particle replicator in group one rotation so right after I'm, as I'm lifting up off the ground, then I want to start rotation. So rotation right now, 
on the Y is set at zero. And just before it lifts off the ground, I want it fully rotated. So what I did was just set the uh, Y rotation to negative 180. That just turned the ship around so I could see the back of it. So really, it's all you need to do to animate a model in Element 3D with HitFilm Pro. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.